So it is literally the last week of February and I haven't sat down like in front of a camera on this side of the camera to talk to you guys. So I am getting back in the groove of things, but I feel like it's so important that we just sit down and I like, catch up. So you can understand why I've been a bit more sporadic in my posting. And I was actually planning to do like a whole get ready, um, get ready with me as we catch up video. And then I realized like, I'm just going to be focused all on the makeup and not on like talking. And I want to just like talk, you know, I've missed you guys. And this is not a rant even though it might feel like a bit of a low-key rant over my life over the past month but this is basically just us catching up so if you're new here hi my name is crystal elisa thank you for dropping by be sure to subscribe for more great content i was actually thinking that um this makeup would be like good practice because now i have to turn on my camera for work and like <laughs> like no makeup makeup look is what we we're going for and then i ended up with this dramatic dramaticness that's definitely not going to work for that but um yeah i think it's better if i don't do my makeup on camera and then we can just chat like openly and like freely right so so let's get into it why have i been so sporadic in this 2021 that's supposed to be like new beginnings new year new me that i was so excited to like get started on let's just let's just let's get into it as well as a bit of house stuff because i do have like some minor updates that i can give you guys and i do want to just be like always be on the hidden side of the camera like as i'm talking to you because i've actually missed like sitting down and chatting so yes let us let us begin <laughs> So I was so optimistic about starting 2021 on like a new note, like, you know, like just starting it with a bang and like continuing with a bang because we're going to do like house renovation stuff and it's going to be great. And I'm so excited and I am still so excited, but I do feel like I just keep pushing myself way too hard. So it's been a bit of a roller coaster. And I was like 2020, like after 2020, nothing can get worse than that. And yet my year started off a little bit significantly much worse than that, right? Because at the end of of 2020 i think i mentioned that i found one rat in my house <laughs> when i got back from my travels when from revisiting my grandparents when i got back here i found out there were more than one rat so what happened was one time i was loading the dishwasher and it, the the racks like keep slamming to the back and then i bring them back and like load more things and then like slam them back so apparently a rat had been hiding behind them mind you the one rat i talked about last year i had actually trapped it in the third bedroom so i thought i've trapped it i've poisoned it, it can't get out it can't get water like i'm good you know so now another one runs literally right across my toes like right across my legs um as i'm loading things into the dishwasher and i'm like i didn't even know you were here i didn't even suspect that there was another rat in the house so i'm like okay what's happening where are they coming from you know like how are you entering my house because i don't like leave windows open and abandon them though um i had said like leaving my bedroom window open i close it and said leaving the sitting room one open i closed it and it's just it's just it's been a whole thing like fighting them because once i realized that there was one in the kitchen i closed the door and blocked it off with a towel and then the next day i come and i find that the towel is very much still in place so the one that ran across my legs did not escape but then on the other side of the door like on this this non kitchen side of the door there's like rat poop right there so that means there was another one trying to go visit with the kitchen one that i didn't even know existed right so i'm just like there is an infestation i don't know what to do with myself i literally was this close to getting a cut but then i'm like that's a lifetime commitment for a temporary problem and i'm like no there has to be a better way because you can't really travel with a cat it really limits everything like now if i have to go visit my grandparents i have to drive there and then basically leash my cat because if i like let it out to go pee or something then to run into the bushes and i will never see it again and i don't want to be like an irresponsible pet owner right so it was very important to me that i find another solution other than other than and this video is not about rats by the way this this whole video i promise you is not about rats it's just so you can understand my frame of mind from going from really really excited like literally when the clock struck midnight on this new year i felt a whole weight of my shoulder i was so excited i was so refreshed and just like optimistic about this year and then it's just like one thing after another after another going wrong and i'm just like i can't and mind you this happened after the whole gate scenario and my plants and them drying up and like dying and then me having to like process all of that and then it was during that time period when i kind of like disappeared for that video so yeah yeah it's just it's been one thing after another so what i eventually realized is that this main door of mine that i keep showing you that i 
love when they had put in the metal structure because it used to be a wooden door so they had to like reconfigure the whole thing at the bottom they had dug into the tile but then not refilled it so there's a very big gaping hole and the reason i kept dismissing that as a point of entry is that every time i would point it out to my carpenter and be like maybe it's this door maybe there's a bit too much space and be like no rats don't come in through doors rat wouldn't like a rat wouldn't come in through the main door that's not how they usually operate right <laughs> shock on me eventually now because i literally had to buy omena and i i've never bought omena in my life i even had to send the guy to send someone to because i don't know where to get it right and i've never cooked it before because having a little fish like stare at me like the whole the whole fish is there as i'm eating it my brain has just never been able to compute that i cooked omena for these rats and poisoned it they refused to eat it so i put a pile in each room except for my bedroom which i made sure i checked every single corner of my bedroom to make for damn sure there are no rats inside there because i would not be able to sleep um yeah i i put a corner and they just didn't eat it they didn't eat any of them and i literally had to go to town for fish fillet so that i could come and make them a delicious like appetizing aromatizing whatever the hell it is like <laughs> i made them the most delicious meal that they could not resist and then instead of using the a red cat the black one because i noticed that one's a bit more aggressive because it's like black and it's smeared over everything you can definitely tell it's there um i used indusit because michelle michelle anyango you are my hero like you don't even know you don't even know the headache that you saved me from so i literally did that and then put the poison all over with like the fish and then left the house <laughs> i went to my aunt's house for like a week and i was like i can't i just i can't be there while they're eating and like dealing with all of this right so at some point i think the kitchen rat actually moved into the sitting room. okay so what happened was the, the i found that there was a second one on this other side right and then one time i'm sitting on my couch and um i start hearing funny noises underneath the couch and i'm like what's happening so i block off um the dining area side of the room and then i start moving the couch around being like please just like run away because i'd blocked off the path and and opened the main door so i was like if you're here just like go out like i don't even want to fight you i'm not trying to kill you like i'm not um competent in rat killing rat hunting things like that i don't want to deal with any blood i don't like i don't want to, i just want you to leave you know so i'm um, when i blocked it off and like opened the door i'm like lifting the couch and something catches the corner of my eye and i literally see a little like baby rat like not baby but like maybe maybe like a preteen rat literally just like casually walking out of my house and i'm like how are you living here with me like i'm sitting on the couch and you're under it and we're like coexisting and i don't know like <sighs> anyway I promise this video is not all about rats but that basically gives you my state of mind is that now every time i open something every time i have to like go to a shelf that's a little bit higher than me i'm like twitching because i'm like is there a rat there because in the kitchen i got the carpenter like when i trapped the rat there i got him to come and be like please just kill this for me because i don't really know what else to do right so we searched everywhere moved the fridge moved the washing machine moved everything like the cupboards and it wasn't there then after he left i realized maybe it's in the cutlery drawers right because they don't go all the way to the back so i removed the first one i don't know why i don't know why i did this <laughs> i don't know what courage i thought i had but i had opened the door so i was hoping it would just run out and not just insist on being in the house <laughs> removed the top drawer nothing removed the second one thing jumped out at me and it wasn't like jumping at me to attack me but it was jumping at me like gotta get out of here like freedom and it refused to go outside the kitchen it just went under the fridge and i'm like this is so counterproductive and then he came back again and we couldn't find it not even in its hiding spot right so it's just been it's that's like sort of given me like more anxiety than i usually have because now every corner every sound i'm twitching and i'm like oh my gosh is another rat gonna come up because i genuinely had no idea that they were in my house to begin with so now i'm just like in worst case scenario type of headspace like, like they're everywhere even if i lift this it's gonna be there if i open this drawer is it gonna jump out at me if i move this like i'm even, i'm just like i can't function in the house right so i left out the poison the fish fillet good fish fillet poison and um it ate it and then it moved the tacos now i've been blocking off the main door it actually moved away the towel and like left the house so i am currently as we stand right now 
pretty optimistic that I don't have rats because one of the things, one of the, the home updates that I have for this video is that I actually, um, I was watching Jesus Girl's video the other day and she mentioned that she took the legs off of her couch and my plan had always been to replace the legs on my couch with higher legs so that I'm able to access the bottom of the couch easier. Then I realized, no, I don't actually have to go through the route of replacing them. I can just literally remove the ones that I have. So from the ottoman, from the couch, I removed the legs and my life has never been better like this is after the poison after the rat left so we um the same carpenter person i just had him come and remove all of the legs and we're moving the couch together because at this point i was like i don't want to move the couch and find that it's eaten through the couch and like made its home there and then like 10 rats jump at me right so the the panic around that is still <laughs> very real but we moved the couch checked them over no rats had eaten through but there was a lot a lot a lot of feces like maybe 10 or so pieces like under the couch so at some point they had definitely been been living there at some point they'd even been bringing bones to eat here and i'm just like how is this my life like how am i coexisting with you and not even knowing it you know so turns out they're coming in through the main door and i think they really really came in when i was away because i was away for almost a month and then um yeah just <laughs> just made themselves right at home and i'm not i'm not built for that you know so yes removing the legs of the couch has actually helped because when we moved the couch i was actually expecting another one to run out none of them ran out my couch doesn't have any holes my couch is now currently flush on the ground because i even thought even if i get Get a cat right only a kitten could fit into the space that's like underneath my couch and then a kitten wouldn't really know what to do with a rat right so there's really no point but the smell of a cat apparently also like chases them away because they can smell a predator so i definitely want to like get my friend to come and visit with her cat and just like have her walk around like she owns a place because i love that this is kiki the black one and there are also a ton of cats in this estate and every time i pass on i'm like y'all wait i'm gonna kidnap you one of these days but then i don't want the long-term commitment of like i've used you now i don't have rats but like i don't want a cat so please don't come here anymore like I, I just i feel really horrible about that so yeah now my current solution is to have my couch right on the floor and i've never sat on this couch with more peace than i do now that i've had it on the floor so it's been about two weeks of that and i'm really really happy so i feel like the optimism of that new year new me fresh fresh start and everything is like coming back so pretty excited about that so yeah that's just my my sort of situation this year it's kind of been like one thing after another so i I come and i do the gate and it's like even that gate like i love the way it turned out but because they tapped into power directly on the mains i'm not currently having issues with my mains because my fuse blew and that day i slept in darkness i think i mentioned that before and i was not happy about that and then my plants like died basically the ones that we moved and i wasn't happy about that and then um now i had uh, my regular electrician come and replace the fuse because after it blew the carpenter had his electrician person come and replace it for me but then he replaced it with one that can easily get fried when kenya power has its fluctuations right so my electrician came and fixed it but said he needs to replace it with one that doesn't fry but has like a cutout so i can just like turn it back on whenever the, there's a there's a power surge or something that happens so he came and he did that and you see this is just costing me money on top of money on top of money and it's like the gate is a never ending never ending problem not really a problem but like it's it's a never ending money pit versus just if they had taps the power directly into the house so i think i'm going to definitely i've learned to definitely draw a line there and be like you're not touching my fuse box whatever you need to do you can get power from inside the house right but um now apparently my actual kplc electricity thing i'm not an electrician i don't know what these things are called but the actual thing that kplc itself has to give you like you can't just go out and buy it that one is also fried so he called the kplc person and made them aware of it and now i'm tapped into power directly from kplc so it's not like a legal thing if they're not aware of it it's like stealing power essentially but because they're aware of it and they are going to come and provide me with a new one apparently it's allowed so it's just feeling like a bit of a never-ending problem but the plus side of that is that having my electrician here he is the same guy i was talking to about like removing the wall because it has my electrical box inside it so he he's he's part of this construction situation that's happening in this estate so he's even able to like give me advice on different things so 
he's going to be handling um blocking off the doors for me because now i have to get a door door jam or door something and then add cement to that part that was dug into so he's going to be handling that but then like this last time he came he was in a bit of a hurry so we agreed to postpone that to the end of this month because at the end of this month i am finally removing the kitchen wall i feel like it's just been that kind of year that i need to do something good for myself like something big for myself but at the same time I literally feel like this is a therapy session because i'm justifying and unjustifying and justifying and unjustifying but then like i want that wall gone true but i feel like it's been one thing after another because i promised myself that i would only do one like big ish project per month and um the gate was about ten thousand shillings that is what i'm choosing to call big and the wall was supposed to be 15 but then when i finally got like a quotation because it's him and a contractor to actually remove the wall and a plasterer to actually plaster it back total is going to be 30 which is not part of the plan that's that's a long-term big versus like a like a monthly big you know but at the same time i've, I've done the gate i've gotten the sink for the kitchen which still isn't installed it's literally just sitting here like annoying me the tap for the kitchen still not installed because i'm going to have other costs associated with installing that so i'm like you know what you've already spent the money just stop instead of keeping on spending money to justify already spent money like you know like i'm, I'm trying to find that balance but i keep feeling like it's eluding me and then the rats happen and it stresses me out and i get <laughs> so upset that i want to like do something else for myself so this carpet i do not regret it no regrets whatsoever but then with all these things Things. it's literally only been seven weeks in this year that's less than two months and i'm already like above and beyond where i wanted to be in terms of like progress for the house but then at the same time a lot of things are stalled so i feel like i'm halfway on a lot of things and if i just completed them then i can be like yes i'm above and beyond where i wanted to be for the house but at the same time it's also above and beyond the budget that i had set for myself right so it is stressing me out a little bit but also once i remove that wall i'm definitely going to want to paint i am tired of seeing these colors in this house because it doesn't actually feel like i've moved in it doesn't actually feel like i live here which is why at some point in january with all this rat issues and everything i was just like was this a right move for me like not even just in january it literally crosses my mind every other day was this a right move for me should, should i like now that i've at least fixed it up a little bit and once i do the wall should i move out of this place for at least one year and just like gather up more resources and then come back and really go nuts on it like i'm trying to i'm trying to weigh out pros and cons but at the same time i feel like it, there's a video i watched of this lady who said she literally went and got a house in kilalesha because she knew rent is expensive and to motivate her to hustle and initially i thought that that's a very self-destructive like perspective on life you know but at the same time i feel like not having this rental income as a cushion is going to help me focus more maybe i don't know because at the same time i don't want to create my dream house and then immediately vacate it and like give it to someone else like there's no point because even a rental house is going to have its own issues that are gonna irk me irk me enough like i'm removing that wall because i genuinely don't have any counter space in my kitchen i have worked on it and like it's better but it's still not ideal it's still not working so every time i want to like i want to build the kitchen island right but then there's no point in building it if that wall exists and there's no point in painting the house because we're gonna paint that wall and then knock it down so it just feels like everything boils down to removing that wall which is i'm just gonna close my eyes and get it done so much first i have them booked in they are coming they said in like one day maximum two days they will be done but one day i will have my electricity moved and like up and running and everything so i am excited about that so yeah that's basically why i've been offline i've just been like trying to figure out myself and also i feel like especially in the end of last year a lot of videos were so like directly and like personal to me so i kind of felt like i was airing out all of my laundry not dirty laundry but just like like you don't need to be seeing my underwear on the internet you know and i feel I, it kind of felt like that so i was a bit like struggling like where do i draw the line between like too much information and like making it too personal because i see like other youtubers don't even like show you where they live and like show you their houses but i'm like this is the content that i consume so i'm really happy to be able to like shoot this and share this because it's like making you feel like part of my family but then at the same time is it too much like someone from my office like over christmas said they've been watching my channel and i'm like you know way too much about me like way too much so i feel like that's kind of why i put the brakes on everything 
everything and i was like i don't want to be in front of the camera so it's easier to just pick it up and like show you things versus like talk to you but i do kind of feel like i i sort of owe you an explanation because every time i pick up the phone to like reply to comments i find some from like a month ago and i don't want you to feel like i don't care about the comments i appreciate every single one of those comments like you don't even know some of them actually see in real time as they're coming in and it so makes my day like it just makes me smile so hard but the problem is it's like the the best analogy i can think of for this is like if you have a phone right and it's at 20 percent and power goes and you don't know when electricity can come back so let's pretend you're living in like a country where power can go for three days and i know that happens in some parts of this country but i i hope i hope not i don't maybe i don't know i hope it's not normal but like if power can go for three days and your phone is at 20 percent, would you not turn off your phone at some point right like if you knew today is monday power isn't gonna come back until like thursday you turn off your phone and only turn it back on to like check a message maybe call a person check something google something and then turn it back off or like to catch up once a day so i kind of feel like that's a situation i've been in for this past two months is that i've just been on such low energy low power and like new things happening at the office and it's just so many things demanding my time and my energy that i don't want to come here and like half-ass it so even in the comments i never want to reply to a comment that you sat down and like actually took your time to write and be like oh thank you or something just just shallow and be like yeah me too or something little like that you know i want to actually like fully engage with the comment and be like yes i am here and i am present and i'm happy to be responding to you and like let's talk some more you know but i don't always have the energy for that so actually what i started doing is i've been taking walks in the estate because one of the reasons i moved here is because i want like a private place to be able to like get sun and then i sit in the back on a stool and get sun and then i start feeling unproductive and then i want to take my laptop and then my laptop starts overheating and it's just it doesn't work so what i've been doing even for like exercise and just like getting out and getting fresh air is every day every monday to friday i take a walk because saturday and sunday there are more people children outside and i just i don't want to deal with it but then like on a weekday at like 2 or 3 p.m there's literally no one in the whole estate and i just have the whole place to walk and i walk actually I walk with my ankle weights, which I keep very close to me because I never want to forget them. And these are 2.5 kgs on each leg. So it's actually making a difference for me. And also because my favorite fruit is... My <laughs> <laughs> so it's so random but also my favorite fruit is mango and this is a mango season so i've literally replaced all my meals with mangoes and my life has never been happier my life has never been better and i think i've lost like nine kgs which is just something all like all in itself like something completely separate but um yeah i'm really really happy so in that walking time as i'm like soaking in the sun and just feeling alive is when i'm trying to like respond to comments and then i'll reach a house and realize i haven't actually caught up to all of them but then i have to get back to work or something so it's just i appreciate every single one of you who comment and i am actively working on catching up to them and those of you who comment and answer questions on my behalf i so appreciate you like i could just like send you hugs you know like i really really appreciate it so this is already much much longer than i had planned and here i was thinking i could actually do my makeup and talk at the same time it's like a bit ridiculous a bit a little bit ambitious for someone who likes talking as much as i do but um yeah so i just i thought we'd catch up in this video and i'd actually like get on camera and say hello as i update you on what's been happening in the house because a couple of things have happened that i'm very very excited about so the couch being one of them when in doubt when in doubt about your rat situation just remove the legs from your couch they can't crawl under there if there's no space to crawl under so <laughs> i literally oh my gosh I haven't even shown you how serious it got i got this and apparently this is like a sticky glue rat trap for rats and the fact that it's still in its package shows you that me who was twitching every time something goes wrong in this house every time like like the fridge makes a sound or the water dispenser makes a sound i'm like that's it a rat is running around and i'm done with this shit. but um yeah me who was in a complete like spiraling panic mode hasn't even opened it that's freaking amazing i actually want to use it as a sample to like walk around different um hardwares different 
grocer agro something agro whatever they're called and um i try to get more because uh the electrician actually only got me one and i want like a bunch of them and these are my options in lieu of getting a cat because some people are allergic to cats my friend does not like cats and i wanted to come and like sleep over frequently and she was just like if you get a cat like that's just not gonna happen that's not my thing and i only recently started liking cats because of my neighbor who got a cat so i do understand it i just don't want the responsibility of another living breathing thing like needing me to feed it like i i've been eating mangoes only like what am i gonna do with feeding a, an animal <laughs> um couch no more legs happiness for me i have rearranged the house but i think i'll save that for the video where i'm knocking through the wall so you can actually see the difference that that wall is going to make it's gonna change everything because i realize that this house faces east in the sitting room and west in the kitchen which means that amazing daylight like sunlight in this area in the mornings but then in the afternoon it does tend to get like a little bit dark because all the sun has moved to that direction and then the kitchen has incredible like direct streams of sunshine like when there are people outside like in the compounds and i don't want to deal with it i literally just pull up a chair into the kitchen itself and sit there and like soak up the sun so directly and so beautifully and like it's just it's amazing and i want more of that light and that brightness and that sunshine coming through to the rest of the house especially now because I did go like about six weeks of keeping that kitchen door closed even though at some point the rat literally wormed its way through the towel that i had put there like this has been a battle an actual actual battle but um yeah so i had to keep that door closed and the corridor was just so dark and the dining area that darkness has to like sort of seep into the sitting room area so i just want to avoid all of that and just like take out the wall so like the rest of my life can begin because i want to create a standing pantry but then it becomes a bit difficult to create that because i don't know exactly how big it should be i don't know um where i'll want the fridge once the wall is gone i don't know where i'll want the island once the wall is gone and i can't have the island come out too far because i do still want a dining table so it's just a lot of things that start with that wall being gone so i am so excited so excited that it's gonna be gone and i'm so excited that we actually talked it through like we troubleshot in that uh consultation meeting until we agreed to do an arch on that part because i've wanted an arch in this house for so long but then i didn't want to mess with the lenta area then apparently that particular part isn't a structural wall which is amazing so i can actually remove it all the way to the ceiling so we're gonna put an arch it's gonna be great it's gonna be beautiful i am so excited for you to see it but in the meantime for me to not feel like i'm putting too much pressure on myself i've actually talked to someone else who has a house in this estate and because because my neighbors were actually doing some construction over the past two weeks they have ripped out their bathtub and they've put a shower in this place so i want to show you what that option would look like in case you're someone who's actually renovating a house and there's so many of you like i'm so i'm so excited to see that like we're many who are actually doing this so um yeah if you want to see what the getting rid of the tub option would look like for me it's not an option because tub time is one of the few things that's been keeping me sane during this period but it is an option for people who just can't be bothered i guess i don't know uh yeah so my neighbor has actually ripped out her tub and has put in a shower and whatever but then i know someone else who's also done that and she's the one with a walk-in closet and her tenant is leaving this month so if you're interested in getting a house in this estate i will show you one that has like maybe arguably better features than this house that i have that i am working towards so um yeah hers has a renovated kitchen and um that that walk-in closet please and and also the standing shower obviously no tub but then the walk-in master closet is where i was thinking that i want to put the third bathroom for the other guest room so um yeah it will just be a whole thing like we'll just go and see it together because i also haven't seen it in person by the time i moved here she already had a tenant so yeah basically the things that are new in this house couch legs gone rearrange the house you will see all of that in that video with a new carpet and everything in place i'm looking around thinking how am i gonna arrange this but <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna work out i'm optimistic i'm optimistic now again for this year you know one thing that i will just start inserting footage of is I actually went to builders and did like a mini mini <laughs> mini thing and this is one of the things that i'm like this needs its own month like its own dedicated month but at the same time apparently um the wooden things that i've been talking about that i want from builders apparently as soon as they come into stock there's like a couple that lives in karen and builders is in karen so it's like five minutes away from them who come into the store and buy everything so they'll come with like 15 pieces and they'll come and buy all of them so the rest of us barely have a chance to like actually get into it so um one of the workers actually told me that so what happened was i took his number and he took mine and then he would just let me know when something comes into stock and then 
I would go and get it. And so conveniently, this one week when I was away is when everything was coming into stock and like back to back shipping. So I'll be there like Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, then the next week, like Tuesday or something. And I did manage to get quite a few things. Some of the things I didn't think were worth it, like a toilet brush for 2000 bob not really worth it even if it is bamboo just because i paid 200 bob for mine and it works fine and if i'm going to replace it i'm probably going to replace it with another one for 200 bob so it doesn't make sense to me to overspend on that but then like a cute little soap dish for 600 bob that's amazing a wooden toilet seat i've been looking for that literally since before i moved into loa Kabete. the last time i saw this was like five six years ago and then they just like completely went out of the market so now that they're back in the market i knew i'd hate myself if i I didn't get it but then these things add up because the toilet seat was three thousand bob the the soap dish was about i think it was about 900 because of the whole taxation thing it went up from 600 to 900 and then i got a to no the toilet roll holder went up from 600 to 900 to beautiful stunning i absolutely love it but i could not leave it so that's already 4,000 bob plus another 600 bob and that's just money that i did not plan for in my budget that i did not plan to spend on all of this so that's why i keep feeling like things like the costs are getting away from me and maybe Maybe I should just move out of here to like put a stop to that. So I'm like, even if I shopped, it wouldn't be for anything. But then at the same time, I don't think I'd be happy living somewhere else. So I just, just weighing it out, you know? Anyway, um, yeah, those are the things that have changed in the house along with the medicine cabinet. So um, the master bathroom is actually really, really coming together. So I do need to get a mirror for that medicine cabinet. I'm not in a hurry just because I have a functional mirror there. I literally have a mirror in every room in this house. So I am good. I, I can stare at myself anywhere else that I want to. And also I tend to get ready in the sitting room because I live alone, so why not? So um, also there's a full length mirror here. There's a full length mirror in my bedroom. There's still a mirror in the master bedroom. There's a mirror in the common sink area. There's a mirror in the guest room. There's, there's more than enough mirrors and I'm going to add more. So I'm not in a hurry. But yeah, now every time I walk into the master bathroom, I'm thinking the only thing that's really, really left is painting. And painting comes with washing the ceilings, which is 4,000 bob to wash all the ceilings, which is so important. I can't wait to show you my ceilings being clean because that's just like on another level. But you see, every time I'm like, oh, I'm not really ready to like start that journey. So that's 4,000 bob I shouldn't be spending. And then I'll go spend it on a toilet seat. And you see, it just, it's finding that balance is very, very hard. And I know i said this year i'm not just going to like have the wind blow and be like it's a sign go spend the money but then like it's still happening <laughs> and i need like a shoppers uh, anonymous to attend and help me apparently so yeah that's one of the things that's changed one of the things that's new and i'm so excited about it i'm glad i have it done and even like now i'm done like i'm not going to do the other bathroom like i'm not moving on to that just yet i just want to get the primary spaces that i use very very comfortable and cozy everything else is functional and it's just it's going to stay functional for now right so another thing that i did just for myself and for my own sanity because i was genuinely heartbroken about the outside plants that first of all let's talk about the gate the gate is overgrown and i love it i love every second of it every time i step through those gates i literally feel like i'm at a wedding because it's grown so much that you actually have to bend like duck underneath the flowers in order to get through and i'm like you know what i'm really technically the only one who should be entering that gate right so um ever it's just the electrician and the carpenter so when they come they come to do one thing and then to the, and then the plumber plumber had to come the other day so it's just uh, seeing everyone ducking in is definitely making me feel like i should do something but then if i bring some someone to like fold over the plants because it's not about chopping them down because all the flowers are on the extra parts right so it's not about cutting them it's about folding them in so they can grow thicker and like flowers everywhere basically you know but at the same time if i bring someone to do that they have to do it for the entire compound and that's a cost in itself that i don't even want to find out about and then i'm also still waiting for the rest of the fence to grow in on the inside because the outside they still keep doing a really horrible job cutting it so like sitting here i can literally see right to the road and i don't like that so um yeah i want a more permanent solution for that so until i get that i am okay with ducking underneath the flowers in order to enter my compound right but 
that um for the outside plants that had dried so i had actually started using like the big coke bottles and just removing the top filling them up with water and turning them upside down so they could consistently drip into those plants and it didn't seem like it was making a difference but i feel like it's a combination of everything that's made a difference so what i ended up doing was getting a really really long pipe and connecting it through the bathroom window to the common area tap and then like cutting uh, slicing through strategic parts of it basically so that it would actually like let out water onto the different plants that i have because i have some skooma that i want to be watered and then i have the dead plants that i want to be watered as well and even the living one i wanted to like continue flourishing and like continue growing so yeah as you can see from the footage they're actually starting to grow back and i previously just back to the whole fun analogy i have 20 percent of battery i'm not going to waste it worrying about plants that still have their roots and the day that i need them to come back to life they will come back to life so i was just like i'm good with them just dying and then i'll deal with that later and now is later and i'm happy that they're coming back to life and they're like turning green again and when i see those little baby leaves i get so excited so i am excited i am optimistic like once or twice a day i will try to turn on the water and and i will try to not forget that i have turned on the water and like leave it running for like an hour or something but at the same time someone had mentioned that i can't plant flowers and like do the same process on it and i think now i'm feeling actually optimistic about planting roses and actually having this place looking beautiful you know so yeah it's working it's working the pipe was about 1200 shillings there was one for 600 that was half the the length and i did use literally exactly half the length so i could have just gotten that but then i was like let's just be safe like i don't want the 600 one to be like just a little bit short and by the time i've opened it like you can't return it so it's just a whole thing so yeah i am really really happy that a small cost like that is able to just give me so much joy because now i don't have to like lug buckets outside and not really be seeing any difference i can just pass turn on the tap my things are watered everything's good another thing since this is an update video i think the rats ate through my washing machine so that isn't really working anymore isn't working well every time i turn it on there's like a bit of spark so i think some wires are a bit frayed in there so i will be fixing that and like keeping you up to date as we get it done okay so one of the things that's actually made it very possible for me to even think about removing that wall because everything comes in steps right like i can't paint the house until i've cleaned the ceiling because like in the bathroom when it rained it rained ridiculously heavily um the ceiling started leaking and all the dirt that was on the ceiling started leaking onto the wall so if i have a white wall it's going to be problems right so even in the sitting room it was leaking a little and i just don't want to paint and then have to like get up on the ladder and clean the paint or whatever so i want to sort out the roof and ceiling issue and then clean the ceiling and then paint right so everything is like in steps so one of the major major steps for me before i can remove this wall before i even considered removing this wall is that i really needed to make sure that the smells of the kitchen can either be contained in the kitchen or be extracted somehow so that's why i was looking into the extractor that was 22 23 shillings discounted from 29 shillings so it did feel like a bit of a deal and even like i've been looking into getting my kitchen cabinet upper but then i have to like leave room for the extractor so everything is just so dependent on another thing and it's very frustrating but i found this post on facebook a while ago and while i was stressed out about all this rat things and it's like is it when i leave the kitchen window open that they're running in like i just needed a solution so i actually reached out to a company that i had found on facebook they had like set up these ads about these removable like window treatments and it was about 1500 for each of them so i was like you know what i think for the sake of a fresh air b seeing if it's actually effective enough to negate the need for an extractor because 1500 versus 22,000 that is a very big difference so i did feel like it was a worthwhile um investment and then because the door to the kitchen was always closed and obviously now the outside door is always closed because i don't want another rat to run into the house through there so i just felt like the kitchen was getting stuffier and stuffier and then every time that i'd open it even when i'm cooking at night like mosquitoes would just flood in especially with all these rains so it's just it just got to the point where for my own sanity i needed to invest in that so i decided that i'd get one in the kitchen and one in the sitting room and one in the master bedroom because i feel like also i don't want to open my window there and have like a whole flood of mosquitoes and then i use um these liquid mosquito plug-in things but then sometimes the smell can just be like overwhelming so i don't like sleeping with it every night i feel like it's not good for you to like inhale that every day so um yeah i was just like if i can get that then it's like a permanent solution that will help me out a lot and it actually really has 
thing is i'm about 80 percent happy with what i got because it works perfectly it wasn't the magnetic one that i had thought it would be so it was um it is a velcro thing which is really really great like this is definitely something i recommend for you even like as a renter friendly upgrade to your houses so um yeah i'll just insert like b-roll footage <laughs> so that you can see how it actually works my only issue is the one for the sitting room we he didn't get the size quite right so we sort of had to go and have it um stitched together in a tailor's place right but now there's like a bit of a dark line whereas everything else is like seamless and transparent and i loved it but um i tried putting the one that wasn't perfect in the bedroom but then the even though the windows are the same size the window mesh for this sitting room one just needed to be bigger for some reason so um yeah this is the only place that it can work and i sit here so that i can have like an unobstructed view to the outside so that little line is like irking me and that's the only reason i'm not like 100 percent happy with it and also um the kitchen one does need the bottom velcro to like get done so he did leave me the piece and there is a tailor in the estate so i will like it's so easy for me to just take it to her but then like i just can't be bothered honestly so i just use the kitchen one as it is and the sitting room one as it is and the bedroom one is perfect but then it's like hidden away so all its perfection is like kind of going to waste but then it has been helping me out quite a lot so my kitchen is actually always having fresh air like coming into it i don't leave it there at night because again my worst nightmare would be to walk into the kitchen one day because i've left the window open and find like a rat chewed a hole through the net and like came into the house so yeah i don't feel confident leaving them like um open all night like on the windows but then it's very easy to like close them and like open them in the morning and the whole house just has fresh air always and it's just it makes my life so much easier and in total for the three windows ended up being three thousand bob because i wasn't getting the magnetic one these ones are velcro so they're a little bit cheaper and it was just worth it it's just it's worth it i'll leave his number down below if you want it if you want to like do your own renter friendly upgrade to your house this is definitely something i 100% recommend just make sure you get like each window to have like the perfect size what happened was that day i was very late in us meeting up so i even uh, offered to pick him up from town so we could come here and because i live so far i didn't want him to like go away and replace it and then come back another day so i was just like it's fine i can live with it but then like for yourselves because you all live closer to town definitely make sure you get like the correct the correct one you know so yeah i absolutely absolutely really appreciate having them even here i'm glad that i can sit here and like have fresh air coming in but at the same time no no mosquitoes are coming in so it's definitely a win-win so actually now the sitting room window and the kitchen window being open at the same time means that once i remove this wall there will be a very very clear line of fresh air passing through here so i am just <laughs> beyond excited i am i'm literally i cannot wait to remove this wall like once the sunshine is like coming in like even now i'm looking at the corridor and seeing like the little bit of sun from the kitchen like making its way in there and not coming to the side of the house and i'm just like ah so yeah i'm really excited about that and if i could get a window treatment for every single window in this house i definitely would but at the same time i'm not made of money because i know as soon as that wall comes down the next thing my brain will be focused on is painting because i've even gone so far as to think of painting like one room myself as like a video but then it's like i'll paint it myself but i'll still want a professional touch on it right so i'll do all this hard work because it's not easy the ceilings are quite high so the walls are quite tall it's not going to be easy and then i'll still have someone else come and do it so why not just have someone else come and do it like once and for all instead of me messing it up and having like stroke marks and then it still has to be redone you know so it's just i don't want to like waste the effort but at the same time i really want to get it done but at the same time these two walls being yellow and orange and then this one behind me being navy they don't work so even if i painted one wall i would still need to paint the other walls for me to actually see the beauty you know so it's just it's just a matter of reminding myself that i'm not made of money that i am not a money tree and i do need to like slow down take a breath actually like <laughs> a very very deep breath and be like you know what it's not the end of the world your hair is not on fire you can do these things one at a time you can even postpone it by a month so i'm really hoping that including other people's houses in these videos will actually give me like the 
the the the the time I need to just take a breath and be like, okay, fine, we can wait. It doesn't. I can't. I don't have the excuse for. Oh, I'm doing it for a video. So yeah, I'm I'm trying to find that balance. I'm also trying to make this video not be 14 minutes long. So I think I'm gonna end it here. Thank you for watching. I hope all of this rambling helps you understand uh, why I've been a bit sporadic and why I'm actually confident that I am coming back to YouTube properly. Um, yeah, I'm gonna end it here. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I promise you I love every single one of your comments and I am responding to them as we go <laughs> just just as we go so yeah thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video